Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's long-term review, we're going to be talking about the Green Room 136 North Seeker. Um, I've had my 20-liter version now for 10 or 11 months. You can see I do have my 25-liter here in the background, but we're going to be focusing on the 20 liter because this is the one that I have actually been using the most and I've had the longest period of time. Now I will say I have thinned the herd over the past year or so, but the bags that I still have are bags that I absolutely love and will never get rid of. But I still keep coming back to the North Seeger 20 liter version because I absolutely love this bag. So if you are unaware, I've been working with Green 136 for some time. So Patrick did send me this pack like 11 months ago for review. So they did send me this pack for free, but I did not show the contents of this video prior to publication. Green Room 136, we'll see this when you do. So again, I keep coming back to this bag. There's just something about this bag that I really love. People keep asking me why I prefer the North Seeker over my old Green Room 136 favorite, which was the Genesis. And um, I can't necessarily put my finger on the exact reason why I just absolutely love this pack. And this has taken the number one slot over the Genesis, but I, I do know several reasons why I really like this. We're gonna to touch on all of them. Um, we're not gonna get into a full spec rundown, but I wanna do hit up on a couple things because one point um, is gonna be a little bit relevant a little bit later on. The Cordura version of the 20 liter North Seeker comes in at 600 Malaysian ringgit or roughly $126 USD. It comes in five Cordura colors, navy, green, gray, brown, and black. It is also available in a VX42 version that is 700 Malaysian ringgit or roughly $147 USD. Now, some of the reasons I absolutely love this bag, just the form factor. I love the the, uh, the way this bag is built up. Now, this is a 20 liter pack, but if you've seen any of my other videos, I tell you that this punches above its weight class. It carries more like a 25 liter pack, and I believe the 25 liter version carries closer to a 30 liter pack. And that's because the overall shape of these bags, they are a big, square or rectangle. It's it's a big rectangle. So it allows you to actually utilize all of the space in the bag. There's no tapered design. There's no weird rounded corners or edges, which might give the bag a sleeker, more modern design, but it actually inhibits what you can carry in the bag. Sure, if they measure it properly and use the tiny little balls, it might come out to be a 20, 25 liter pack, but the shape is a huge variable at how it'll actually carry and what you can actually carry in it. But the North Seeker's design is a big rectangle, which allows you to fully utilize the pack and actually use all of the available space, which is why I feel like the 20 liter can carry more like a 25 liter pack and the 25 liter can carry more like a 30 liter pack. So the overall shape is very, very user friendly. I also really like the aesthetics. I love this front vertical zipper pocket. I find it really, really useful. It's very utilitarian. And I think that's part of the aesthetic that I'm, I'm really loving is this, this, this vertical zipper. Although I do prefer the Molly webbing on my 25 liter version over the plain front version of my 20 liter. But I like the aesthetics of the front of the bag. You got your morale patch. You could add webbing with the wild card customs, but the standard options, it, it's a plain front, um, which is still really like, it's it's very, it's, it fits more in that minimalistic design because there's not a lot going on. It's not tactical. It does fit into more settings, having a plain front than having the webbing on the front. I just like to have the webbing. I find it a little bit more useful for me for how I carry and what I carry, but the plain front is also totally fine with me. But I think the overall aesthetic the shape, the layout of the bag, the fact that I can lay this bag down, clamshell it open, and it has enough rigidity that it doesn't spill everything out onto the ground, and I can just access everything simply and easily, or load this bag up for a few days of travel, or just to go out the door for my day, and I can lay it, clamshell it, just pack it up, and then zip it closed, and it'll keep its shape and allow me to do so. So the bag overall is just incredibly useful. And one thing that I absolutely love about this pack that some people don't like and complain about, is this top. QA zipper. I love it. I find it to be totally useful. I use it to get my tech kit in and out of my bag all the time. Um, and then I just use the top liner pockets 
to carry my quick access item. So I like it. I find that it gives me the access I need into the main body of the bag without having to completely open it. And I can still have some a bit of a QA pocket because the liner pockets on the top of the bag allow me to still stash a few things that I need. Something like my first aid kit that I like to have as close at hand as possible. So I love that top zipper access pocket. But there are a few things in this bag that I would change. One of the main things that I did comment on this in my original, I don't remember if it was the unboxing or the review, is that in the standard version, there is no organization to this front zipper pocket. I really, really wish that was a standard option. It is an option, an upgrade for the wild card, so you can add the organization side pockets for the wild card custom. It is a 50 Malaysian ring and upgrade, which comes out to be about, you know, 1050 American dollars. So honestly, I would like to see that feature added in as a standard feature on the standard bags. And I would happily pay that extra 50 Malaysian ring it to have that as a standard feature on this bag. I do use it quite a bit in here. It does help me to organize this front pocket. I can get a lot of extra things in there, so it's a lot more organized. I do really, really love it, and I do wish that the standard versions had it. Another thing that I did not notice until very, very recently is um, the, the water bottle pockets. They're a point of contention for this bag because you know you can fit like a standard, I think they have like a 500 mil uh, limit water bottle and it fits in there fine but my uh my coffee mug that is not much bigger than my hydro flask when i'm coming home from work in the day it does not fit into my water bottle pockets and this is something that i actually just noticed within like the past week or two i don't always bring my coffee mug with me to work sometimes depending upon if i'm going on a shoot or if my wife makes coffee in the morning and there's extra I'll take a, a cup in my mug and I'll go to work. Usually I'll just make a pot of coffee when I get to work. So I don't always bring my mug with me. So I guess it's been quite a while since I've actually brought my mug to work because when I was going home, I was trying to put it into the water bottle pocket and it just wouldn't fit. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a big deal. I just, I carried it. It was also empty. So I, I could have just stuck it inside the bag and that would have been completely fine. Um, but. Yeah, I wish the water bottle pockets were just a little bit bigger. I would really actually like to see these like a dirt stretch pocket because then you could fit a lot more bottles in there. I do know that Green Room did beta test these bags with dirt stretch prior to being released. They didn't like the way it was working. The material just wasn't working well with the cordure and the bag and the design. So they actually went away with it and just did the cordure pockets. But I think that they can maybe pleat these just a little bit more or give it just a little bit more room in there. So you could fit maybe up to comfortably a 750. I can get my 750 Camelback shooting here. I do have to kind of work on it a little bit and it does take some of that interior space in. But if they made it so you could comfortably fit like a 750 bottle in here, I think I'd be fine with my uh, my coffee mug would also fit in here. And honestly, that's, that's those are the two things I would change about this bag. If I were to redesign this bag tomorrow, I would add those two features. I'd make the water bottle pockets just a little bit bigger, and I would add standard feature of that front organization of the front of the bag. And I would gladly pay that extra 50 Malaysian ringgit or like roughly 1050 USD for it. But other than that, honestly, this bag is great. 10, 11 months old, and it still looks basically brand new. I've used this bag a lot. I've had this bag in the rain. I've had this bag on the scooter. I've had this bag in the car. It's been through the summer. It's been through the winter. It's been through the fall, which we didn't have much of a fall and we're in spring now. So our, our spring is more like our fall. So it's been through basically three seasons and it still looks great. It's holding up great. If I didn't tell you that this bag was coming up on its one year birthday, you probably wouldn't know that because it just handles and works really, really well. So all of the use that I've gotten out of this bag has, it's been taking all the use and abuse just fine. Honestly, two things, that's all I would change about this bag. And I've been using it a lot over the next, the past almost a year. But I think we may have a special guest to help us close this video out. Oh, I believe we have two special guests to help us close this video out. It's Hazel. Hazel. What? There's, she's got her newborn. Oh, that's just a baby reborn. 
Oh, you got me. I thought we had another baby in the house. It's a, it's a fake baby. But everybody thinks it's real. But I just needed to come down here to tell Daddy something. So, Miss Hazel Fantastic, do you like this Green Room 136 North Seeker backpack? Yes, and I really love that puppy. I was going to say, that puppy is burning flame hot and he doesn't care. And he's nuts and he's drinking coffee and sitting down. And then... And I'm like so scared. So with that, if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time we post a brand new video. Say goodnight. Goodnight and bye and make sure you say goodnight to Penelope. Goodnight, Penelope. Goodnight. Good